everyone, this is the fifth day, and today is my birthday, and all I want is a shower, because I haven't had one in about three days. Today we woke up in Andrew Malera, and we took down camp. Every morning, it takes us a, probably about an hour to leave camp. We take down all our tents, and they're always really dewy in the morning, so we get really worried about the tent flies, and make sure that they get a little bit drier before we pack them away. Then it's time to repack the bus, and that takes a little bit of a time. Um, we've got all of our gear packed up, we've got a big bag that we store up on the roof rack on top of the bus, and then we've got small day packs that we can reach during the day, because once your bag's up on top of the bus, you're not going to see it again through the rest of the day. So, And then once the bus is all set, people check their bikes one more time, maybe you got to put a little more air in your tires, maybe you want to clean that chain off before you climb up Big Sur. Once you've got that all taken care of, then... We're ready to ride. And today we woke up and our good friend, Dan Sullivan, showed up. He is our photographer, official photographer of the Sustainable Living Bike Tour for the third year in a row. And we were super excited to see him, so we took a couple quick shots with him and that was fun. And then we had set out and pretty much right away we got to dive into the redwoods and get some beautiful views of that. And then we climbed Big Sur and that is a heck of a current climb. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people it took them a while, but they all got up there and we all did it and um, went through a couple of different canyons. We had a good lunch and then we ended up at Cla Plaskett Creek today and we're going to celebrate my birthday in a minute. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday dear Becky! Day today climbing Big Sur with all of you and I'm glad everyone did it and was safe and it's a special way to spend my birthday so thank you. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> hug her. Give her a hug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Now I thought we'd talk a little bit about our awesome bus. Uh, we have an amazing bus. Travis bought it last year and he bought it. It's, a, it's an old school bus. It's a short school bus. Four windows and it sits about 20 people. Um, right now it runs on biodiesel. We were going to try and get it running on veggie oil, but it didn't end up working out this, this trip. But one super, super sweet addition we got this year was a solar panel. And the solar panel is running all of the inside lights, and it's running um, a, a charger station for our laptops and for our cell phones so we can call home. Um, uh, two years ago we took out all the seats that were in the bus and we put in these awesome shelves and this is where we keep a lot of our gear. And there's uh, sweet boxes, you see this one's full of some food. Uh, this one's got some more food in it which is nice. Sweet things. We've got the sweet door over here. This is everyone really likes taking a turn at pulling this open. Just like a real bus driver. Hey! <laughs> We bought Travis a new radio, that was a gift from all the riders this year. It's awesome to drive the bus, but um, a little bit boring when you're driving for a long time and you don't have any tunes, so we got him a radio, and we're pretty excited about that. And this is our bus, um, it's got some really sweet wood contact paper on the side. You get a chance to see that in some of the photos, that was a special touch we put on last year. And we're really proud of it, we love it, we haven't named it, but I'm sure there will be a good name at some point. One special addition we got on the uh, bike trip this year to the bus was a gift from the people of San Francisco. Um, we woke up uh, the, our first night in San Francisco and we saw that there had been a little bit of decoration put on the side of the windows and the top of the bus and as pretty as we thought that was, we um, actually ended up scraping a lot of it off um, just because... Uh,